Thank you, the lucky dog. Now today, we have another set of four contestants winning the chances to play for a $10 scratch-off lottery ticket. Let's go ahead and introduce the contestants. First up, we got... Jameson Roberts. Jameson Roberts. Okay. And what is your major? Uh, physical education. Okay, so we don't have a digital media major here, so props to coming for the game show. Thank you. And what would you like to do in the future? Uh, be a gym teacher and coach. Okay, I'll, I'll see you running some laps. Mm -hmm. Okay, now up next, what is your name? Matt Parsons. Matt Parsons. And what is your major, Matt? Theology. Theology. So what would you like to do in the future with whatever you like? Um, work at a museum of okay. some kind of sort. Definitely interesting. I'm a fan of art, so you got a plus for that. Maybe we'll see some skeleton bones in there one day. And up next we got... Chris Roberts. Chris Roberts. And what is your na major? Uh, digital media. Ooh, digital media in the building. Yeah. And, of course, I probably know, but what would you like to do in the future? Dream goal be a movie director, I guess. Just like I would be. I got multi-talent, so that's, you know, in my field also. And looks like a familiar contestant. What is your name? I'm Bob. Bob. Oh, yeah. What's the major you got, Bob? Well, I'm an advertising and public relations major. Okay. Good right there. And what would you like to do in the future? Um, I don't know yet. Probably work for a corporation. Okay. Sounds serious. So Bob is on his serious <laughs> role right here. So let's start off by doing our first set of questions. Round one, college topics. Each question, 10 points. There will be five questions. So listen carefully because every single correct answer is going to come into play. So here we go. Question number one. In order to receive the mass number, what two things do you add? Is it A, protons and electrons, B, just protons. Bob, what is the answer? Uh, protons and neutrons. Protons and neutrons. It was D. And that's correct. Good job. Scoring the first 10 points right here. Up next, we got question number two. When writing a screenplay, how long is a page in a script? A, one minute. B, five minutes. C, 10 minutes. D, 30 minutes. We got an answer from Chris. Uh, one minute. One minute is correct. Good job there, Chris. Yeah. You nailed it. Didn't even get it wrong. You know your facts, Mr. Digital Media Major. All right, question number three. Listen carefully because this could trick you. If you have ten dogs and each dog had two puppies except for one, how many total dogs do you have in the room? Is it A, 20, B, 28, C, 30, or D, 18? We got an answer from Matt. D, 18. 18? Incorrect. Who's next? C. We got an answer from Jameson. Jameson. What is your answer? C. C, 30, also incorrect. <laughs> All right, Chris, you have to get it right or else it's discarded. 28. 28 is correct. You took those 10 points and saved the question from being garbage. So right about now, question number four. Let's see what we got. Where are you going if in French I said, A la bibliothèque. Bob, what is your answer? The library. The library, which one of these contestants came from the library, thanks to recreation, is correct. Good job, knowing your French. <laughs> All right, time for the final question in this round. So listen carefully. From top to bottom, which is the correct order of a set of three body parts in a human body? Is it A, ears, ankle, back, B, eyes, belly button, hip, 
Bob, what is your answer? Eyes, belly button, hip. Correct. I didn't even have to say C, skull, mouth, nose, or D, toenail, toe, or foot. You got it correct immediately. Thumbs up. Let's take a look at the scores for round one. At the end of round one, we have Jameson with zero, Matt also with zero, Chris with 20, and Bob with 30. So how's everyone feeling? Fantastic, yeah, Frankie. Yeah, don't worry, it's fast. Oh, well, don't worry, there's plenty more questions. We're up to round two right now, music and entertainment. So if you love music or hear about it so much, you're going to probably do pretty good in this category. So let's take a look at question number one. Which singer came out of the closet in March 2010, making him want to sing Livin' La Vida Manca? Bob, what is your answer? Ricky Martin. Ricky Martin, the correct answer. How did you feel when you heard about that? Um, I didn't even know he officially came out. I just assumed because of the pun. <laughs> Okay. All right. Question number two. Which state is rapper Lil Wayne from? Matt, what do we got for the answer? Louisiana. Louisiana. Correct. That's where my heart's at. Louisiana. <laughs> yes, definitely. I see a future in Louisiana. All right. Well, if you thought that was funny, wait till you hear question number three. After holding her note on Girls Just Want to Have Fun, which 50-something-year-old singer had a bird crap in her mouth in 2004? Chris, what is the answer? Who is Cindy Lauper? Who is she? That is correct. Cindy <laughs> Lauper. Oh, poor Cindy. <laughs> All right. Well, good job on getting those 10 points. Let's move on to question number four. If your womanizer attacked you with spears, which singer are you referring to? Matt, what is the Britney answer? Britney Spears. Britney is correct. Another 10 points for you. Good job. All right. All right, number five. This one might be a little tricky, so listen up. Or take guesses. Dubbed as the first lady of song, which jazz musician had a string of hits in the 1930s for... Bob, what is your answer? Is it Ella Fitzgerald? Ella Fitzgerald, correct! Ugh. 40s, 50s, and 60s. Good job right there. It's all about knowing the facts. So how'd you know it was Ella Fitzgerald? Well, I don't know anything current. I only know stuff from the past. Okay. I love right. her. Good job. And at the end of round two, we have the scores of Jameson, zero, Matt, 20, Chris, 30, and Bob, 50. Still taking the lead. Keep studying, keep remembering, and keep using your brain effectively because you're going to need it for this next set of questions. Somebody's going to be eliminated right after this commercial break, so keep it locked. Madness on those last couple of questions. Bob got a kick out of Ella Fitzgerald. And Matt, he knew his Louisiana, 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 Louisiana facts. So, you know, thumbs up. But it's going to be important this round because round three is sports. Now, I know all you guys are guys, so you probably know a lot about sports. Each question is worth 10 points, but the one with the lowest score is going to be eliminated. So, Jamieson, yep. make sure you got your Jamieson plus power to stay in the game. Yep. Just like the Mario with the mushrooms. Anyway, here we go. Question number one. Being inside a ring or drawing a ring, which wrestler recently traded wrestling for drawing? Is it A, Leroy Ahoy, B, Bullet Bob, C, Scott Lost, or D, Bill Stokes? Bob, what's the answer? Is it S Scott Lost? Scott Lost. You looked lost from the answer. Yeah. But it was correct anyway. Good Sweet, job. I guess. I don't know anything about sports. Good. Good job. <laughs> it's all about guessing. So, Jamieson, you could guess. You could just yeah, rapidly gonna, fire answer to questions I'm start and doing maybe it. get it right. So let's see. Maybe number two. Let's see what sport this is. Caught in a surprise, 
which Seattle Seahawks player just got switched over to the New England Patriots? We got an answer from Chris. What's the answer? Who is Dion Branch? Dion Branch, wow. correct. Good. Good job. Scoring yourself 10 points. Almost tied with Bob. <coughs> just got to work a little harder. We're coming back. Okay. Well, question number three. Here we go. Vroom. Who recently signed a multi-year contract deal with Mobile One? Is it A, Jamie Foxx, B, Tony Av, C, Carl Long, or D, Tony Stewart? We got an answer from Jamieson. Let's see the answer. D, Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart, correct. Staying in the game. Out of zero, Ooh. baby. Good job. Now, if you could just repeat that success one more time, could help. It could be going to the finals. Who knows? Yep. Here's question number four. On Monday, October 11, 2010, the Giants and the Braves battled to achieve a close game. The Giants won with A, 1-0, B, 3-2, C, 15-13, or D, 3-0. Bob, answer? Is it 15-13? And eh, incorrect. Jameson, answer? 3-2. Three, 3-2, two. Three, two, correct. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, come back. Come back, kid. Okay. He's going home. Uh -oh. Yeah. All right. It's almost time to see what happens after the next question, which will be the end of the round. If there is a tiebreaker, I will sing a song. Probably very, very, very easy. Might even have the title in it. You just give me the title. That's if a tiebreaker happens. But to ensure yourself of staying That's in the game, you might want to answer okay. this question right. correctly. Let's so listen carefully. True. Here we go. Question number five. Whoa! <laughs> Expect major punches this November 27th. What boxer will be swift boxing his way to battle Andre Ward in Oakland, California? A. Guillermo Jones. B. Amir Khan. C. Psycho Baika. Or D. Roman Gonzalez. Bob, what's your answer? Is it Roman Gonzalez? Sorry, that's wrong. Jameson, <laughs> to break the tiebreaker, what is your answer? A. A. Jamil Jones? Incorrect. If you answer wrong, it will be discarded and resulted in a tiebreaker. Matt, what is your answer? B. B. And also <laughs> incorrect. Nobody <laughs> got the question correct. So that means the answer was C, Psycho Bica, which leads us into our first ever tiebreaker. Okay, well, I'm going to have to be brave here and sing a song. It's just between Jameson and Matt. Only you two guys could answer. Whoever comes up with the answer the quickest will be going on to the next round. So here it goes. The tiebreaker song, by just giving me the title, is... And, uh, Matt, what is your answer? And I will always love you. Correct. You're moving on, Jameson. <laughs> Unfortunately, disqualified. You're going to have to pack your bags and go. But before you go, well, while you're going, we're going to take this commercial break. Coming back with round four. Know your Marywood events right here on College <laughs> Trivia Man. Yes. Trivia Madness here, knowing your Marywood facts for round four, Marywood events. The points have doubled, 20 points each, but the questions have decreased down to three questions. Make sure you know the answers correctly because, once again, somebody is going to be eliminated. So here we go. Let's start off with question number one. With segments like Weather, Entertainment, and Marywood Minute, which TV show airs Tuesdays at 5 p.m. on Channel 21? Is it A, TVM News? Bob, what is your answer? It's TVM News. Yep, which I do the Marywood Minute. Yours truly, Frankie the Lucky Dog, all over TV. TVM News, correct. All right, 20 points for you. Let's see question number two right here. Good or bad, which one of these is allowed to occur when live on the air on Marywood's radio station? A, having a live caller on the air. B, saying, go to this website to buy tickets. C, having a random person talk without permission. Or D, having just three seconds of dead air. Bob, what is your answer? Having a live caller. 
That is incorrect. You're not allowed to have a live caller on the air. B. You have to slap. Matt, what is your answer? B. B, no. No verb call into action. Now, Chris, you have to answer correctly or else this question goes away. C. Slap down. C. C, have a random person talk without permission is not allowed on Marywood Station, unfortunately. Everyone got it incorrect. The correct answer was D, having just three seconds of dead air. You know, it could slip. Some people just, you know, if they're preparing a song or forget to switch, you know, all those confusing monitors and everything, you might have dead air. As long as you don't have three minutes, you're okay. But just three seconds, it's a little minimal amount. So now we're going to go to question three, which Matt could be eliminated. So, you know, this is going to have to Pressure's be important on. right here. Listen up. Take a guess. Number three. What item is the name of a cafe in the Nazareth Student Center? A, a hamburger. B, a hot dog. C, water. Or D, wood. Bob, let's see the answer. Water. Water. And incorrect. Matt, the answer is... C. That's the same answer, unfortunately. <laughs> incorrect. <laughs> yeah, we don't that at all. all right, Chris, you have to answer this correctly or else it goes away also. Can you repeat the question by any chance? What item is the name of a cafe in the Nazareth Student Center? Uh, Hamburger, hot dog, uh, water, or wood? What is wood? Wood, correct. Why is it wood? The Woods Cafe, Durr. I misinterpreted the question. Yeah. <laughs> That's why you gotta listen carefully, Durr. It's the Woods Cafe. Alright. Let's take a look at the scores right here. Bob, you got 80. Massive amount. Chris, nice little 60. But unfortunately, Matt, with, you know, triple less, you only have 20. Get out of here. So you're going to have to leave, unfortunately. Now, Deuce is up because he's leaving. But Deuce is up to everyone else because we're taking a commercial break. We got round five coming up worth 30 points a question. So keep it locked. College Trivia Madness. Trivia Madness, getting all hyped up because this is round five right here. Gumbo Pot, 30 points a question. Who's going to win? Will it be Chris or Bob? Both of them have been answering questions consistently, consecutively, and they've been also answering questions effectively. So now, put it into play here with your toughest memory skills when it comes to answering the questions. Here we go. Listen carefully. Question number one. What movie is this quote from? I like them French fried taters. Mm hmm. A. Monty Python. B. Grease. C. Sling Blade. D. Good Burger. Bob, the answer is. Is it Good Burger? Good Burger. Incorrect. You have to answer, or else it's goodbye for this question. Can you repeat the uh, choices again? The choices A. Monty Python. B. Grease. C, Sling Blade. D, Good Burger. I'm going to go with uh, B, Grease. The question has been discarded. Uh. That is incorrect. The correct answer, Sling Blade. And because this is a question, I wasn't going to say it the exact way it was said, but I'll say it now. It's really said, I like them French fried potatoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's Carl from Sling Blade right there. So, no points for that question, but 30 points at stake for this next one. Here we go. Which one of these artists was the first one to apply auto-tune in their voice? A. Cher. B. T-Pain. C. Lil Wayne. D. What do we got, Bob, for the answer? It's Cher. It is Cher, formerly known as the Cher Effect in her 1998 hit song, Believe. Congratulations, you took 30 points right there. How do you feel? Great. That's right. I actually read that too, like a week ago. Good thing you know your facts, so thumbs up. Now we have one question left. This is the final question. Listen carefully to decide who will be tonight's winner. 
Here we go. Within only a single row on a basic computer keyboard, which one of these words can you spell within only a single row on a keyboard? A. Talk. B. Polish. C. Flags. D. Youth. Bob, let's see the answer. It's flags. And how do you know about that? I was thinking, I may have misplaced the keys, but I think that's right. And if I'm typing on the keyboard, F, second row, L, second row, A, second row, G, second row, S, second row. Congratulations. <laughs> you got that correct. Congratulations to Bob, our official winner this week. 140 whopping points. You owned it. There was no Christian, no old Greg, you did your thing, 140 for you, only 60 for Chris. But he held on, you know, to the final round, competing for that $10 scratch off lottery ticket, but you have to leave, sorry. But don't worry, because we're going to see if Bob is going to win on his $10 scratch off right after this short commercial break. Bob, start scratching. Get them bucks. Hopefully, we will have a winner. As you're scratching this ticket, how do you feel right now? Uh, pretty good. I th hope I win. That's all I care about. <laughs> good. Let's see here. Good. Well, he's anticipatingly scratching. I want to say that I had a great time doing this. And, you know, rapper Lil Wayne from Louisiana was singing before. Shout out to my boy Skies. And, you know, he's got that hot single, Louisiana, out. And we're just going to see if Bob's going to win on this scratch-off ticket. He's scratching his way and scratching and scratching. Does this mean I win? This right here? He got a dollar sign. Let's see what it says. Get a money symbol, win the prize under it automatically. Yes. I want you to say to the camera what you won. I won ten dollars. Let's take a look. Ten bucks. We have a ten dollar winner. Winner, Woo! Today, Bob. Yeah. Ten dollars on college trivia madness. So how do you feel yes. now that you won? Great. Good We're gonna job. use this money for something. Probably food. Go get another one. Maybe, yeah, I can get another one, too, if yeah, I want. Keep going and hit the jackpot. Yeah, hey, you know. Yep, I'm, I'm glad we have a winner, because it's College Trivia Madness. We deserve to have winners here. So, catch us next week. We'll be doing more of what you saw today. Always be anticipated and answer those questions correctly, because in order to get the good grades in school, you got to get the good grades on camera, too. So, until next week, I'm Frankie the Lucky Dog. Here's the crew that was contestants, so we'll catch you next week.